purpose of this video uh, was to come out and check stage one Regal for a valve train damage due to the blue smoke that came out of the exhaust that I got out of the exhaust roughly uh, two weeks ago. But uh, this is the uh, passenger side. I already went over this after drying everything I could from around the VAV seals and everything looks great. Again, this is the passenger side of the Stage 1 1973 Buick 455 V8. This motor was built by Dan Smith of DNS Performance in Camden, New Jersey. And this engine's been through overheating to 240 degrees Fahrenheit, 250. Uh, upper radiator hose has blown off due to this type clamp that Summit sells. Now it doesn't fit securely over the neck of the Buick 455 intake, Elderbrock intake. So that's why that popped off and the antifreeze went straight into the Rochester 820 uh, CFM carburetor and destroyed my original <laughs> MSD6AL-2 two-step system. Now this is the replacement. Uh, but anyway, thus far so good. Um, again, to stay focused, I have no valve train damage. The blue smoke was indeed caused by the Holly 850 dumping extreme amounts of fuel into the block. Now Momo of Momo Racing, all right, Mo of Momo Racing and Tyrone of uh, Pontiac Alley both told me they've had experiences where blue smoke has come out of the exhaust due to running rich, extremely rich. And also, last time I was out, I went over this Carter 110 gallon electric fuel pump I installed. Tyrone wired it, but I installed everything myself uh, just to make sure the filter was not clogged. Took the filter out, everything is fine. Dual exhaust system. Grand National Posi rear 342 gears. And I need to add the airbag in the passenger side rear. Spring, for traction, better traction. Uh. It's the vacuum gauge. I feel I'm gonna start the car tomorrow, which should be Sunday. Now this video should post maybe a week later due to I have no internet connection in the new apartment as of yet. Uh, but this is the line lock switch. I love the way it looks. I like the position of it. So far, so good. And I'm gonna, oh, already um, called Napa in regards to the valve cover gasket. Now, as we can see, oh, this was cork, this was not rubber. Wow, I was under the impression it was rubber, this is cork, but Napa has the um, correct rubber valve cover gasket. I'm picking that up um, on Monday. They were closing as I called them a little bit ago. But uh, yeah, rubber <laughs> is way better than the cork. Um, I was told by Steve and others that 11 seconds Steve, who we're going to race, <laughs> he has a stage 187, I'm sorry, stage 186 Regal, but he has the 87 header panel on it, like I do. Mine's an original 87. And Steve and I, we're going to race to see what's going on. Uh, Steve already knows what's going on. It's, uh, it's the stand corrected. I'm going to race Steve so I can see what's going on with my Regal, my Stage 1 Regal. Steve has already ran um, 1190s. He puts it in drive and lets it go. He does not shift. He lets the tranny do the work, as he stated. Steve's a very smart guy. And also, shout out to Eric. Eric came and got this distributor straight for me. I'm going to put the wires back under the... Uh, upper radiator hose as I had it originally, but Eric got this straight for me. Uh, 
Those guys, Eric and Steve both, has helped me a lot. And um, so far, so good. That's about it. Startup should be tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. As a matter of fact, I'm sorry. Startup should be Tuesday or Wednesday of next week after I get the uh, valve cover gaskets.